The Machi Lab is the most creative way of empowering women of all of the projects which the UN funds around the world. This is the one dearest to our heart. It's the one we're most proud of, and it's the one that we intend to take to the rest of the world so that they can learn from what you have achieved. The one critical way to survive in a changing environment is to make sure that you have the skills to survive in a changing environment. So we need to either continuously update our skills or acquire new skills to survive in this kind of an environment. We are a multidisciplinary group of close to 100 people. We have engineers, artists, artisans, videographers, social scientists, field workers, volunteers, and exchange students from around the globe, and all working to understand India's complex social problems and together build solutions. With vocational skills training, there's a huge component that you have to do with your hands. So how do you teach something with your hands by using technology? Our methodology is the CWIT methodology. It stands for Computerized Vocational Education and Training. It's a blended learning approach for vocational and life skills. Till date, we have developed over 15 vocational courses and 20 life skills courses. And we have used it to train rural women and children across 21 states of India. You can't throw technology at difficult social situations and expect it to get better. You have to take it there. You have to work very sensitively to see how it's going to fit into people's lives. They spend their time in the villages along with our end users to really understand their issues from a place of empathy and of connection. Our vision of gender equality is inspired by our Chancellor's words. Women and men are of equal value, like two wings of a bird, for without the two in perfect harmony, humanity cannot progress. We hold India's only UNESCO chair in the area of gender equality and women's empowerment. Our research goal is to further women's empowerment and gender equality as a community agenda, in harmony with the environment, towards a sustainable future. While addressing problems in villages, we work with women to identify what vulnerabilities they have and co-design interventions with them, one of which we're really proud of is addressing the need for toilets. We taught women to build and maintain their own toilets, and after they mastered these skills, they mobilized the community towards ending open defecation. Some now earn a living by building toilets for others in the village. It's a win-win situation. It's a community-led total sanitation approach. Some of our women leaders were even honoured by the President of India for their efforts towards ending open defecation. This was a huge achievement and a source of inspiration for all. We integrate life skills throughout our training programmes. To us, it is as important if not more than vocational skills. These trainings strengthen the socio-democratic voice and economic empowerment of women. It expands the collective empowerment space of women. World-renowned economist Jeffrey Sachs and the UN Sustainable Development Solutions Network toured Kanti Village in Haryana. The UNESCO Chair offers social work programs that work towards women's empowerment in rural communities using Amrita's unique methodology. The Center for Women's Empowerment and Gender Equality is expanding the understanding of women's empowerment by using a holistic approach that systematically addresses the full range of women's contexts and dimensions. The AWESOME methodology collects real-world data through participatory approaches and technology-enhanced tools, which can then be analyzed, modeled, and shared using computational social science and systems thinking approaches. Finally, through this process, the AWESOME approach will inform intervention design and produce simulations and models for global deployment. We have had a lot of firsts. We have trained India's first women plumbers 
We have built the first haptic simulator in the country. We have had tribal women launch Kickstarter campaigns to fund their businesses. All this could not have happened were it not for the guidance, the vision, and the opportunity given by our Chancellor Shri Mata Amritanandamayi Devi.